Hello, my name is Brenda Hayward. I am not an attorney, real estate agent, or tax accountant. You have made it. You are on the way to closing. You are now wondering what documents are needed to complete the transaction and get the keys to your new home. This video will highlight some of the paperwork required when you decide to purchase your own. This video is called Closing Process Document Needed to Buy a Home. The video will highlight additional information to your questions on what other paperwork may be needed and added to your need to know list. Viewers, I hope you bought your notebook and pencil. Number one, title company. Have you met with your title company? This is usually the organization that holds onto your funds you put in escrow. Once you have found a property in which you would like to live and the purchase agreement is signed by both the seller and the buyer, the title company will submit paperwork for the title search on the property the buyer plan to purchase. The need to see the sellers have the legal right of ownership of the property so that the property can be transferred into the buyer's name. The title search is done to protect the buyers from ensuring once the transfer has completed, the sellers have no liens or judgments against the property. The title company will sift through public records in reference to the property to ensure that the sellers have a legal right to the property. During the title search, the title company will check with the city, state offices to see if there are any pending legal issues. They also check on pending unpaid property taxes, liens, or judgments that may be listed on the property records. Two, title insurance. During this time, you will be alerted to the need to have title insurance. Mortgage lenders use the title insurance to protect their interest, so a buyer will have to purchase their own title insurance to the property. Please, even if you decide to pay cash, do not bypass the title search portion of the process. Just think, even if a prior foreclosure process was made over 10 years ago, if the process were not done correctly, you will be in hot water. However, with title insurance, the buyer is assisted with the ticket in their interest. The title insurance team will work to clear up the mistakes recorded on file from the past to ensure the buyer has officially owns the property. Three, closing disclosure. Has the title company issued a closing disclosure for your review? If you have met with the title company, they should have mentioned that the closing disclosure will be given to you once the mortgage is finally approved. At that time, all the paperwork has been completed between the buyer and seller. And the mortgage company will re-verify all the original information given to the loan officer to see if the original information projected loan approval has not changed. At this time, the closing disclosure will be concrete, not estimated figures that the buyer needs to bring to the closing table to get the property transferred to their name. The closing disclosure document should be received by the buyers at least three days prior to closing. The closing disclosure shows the interest rate the buyer will be paying, the lift on the loan, the mortgage payments, taxes, and insurance monthly costs and closing costs. The disclosure will highlight if there is any potential penalties for prepayment. The closing disclosure document will enable you to obtain the exact amount needed on a cashier's check containing the down payment and closing. Just a little about me. I'm a person who enjoys food and one of my favorite foods is cherry cheesecake. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up or by leaving comments below. Four, homeowner's insurance. Have you been told about the need for a homeowner's insurance policy? A homeowner's insurance policy is mandatory to make the mortgage lender comfortable and the buyers have assured that they will get their money until the home is transferred out of their name. So when it's time to go to closing, the insurance policy must be in hand. Showing proof of insurance policy with the limits that will cover the home just in case something like a fire happens. Homeowner's insurance declaration page shows proof of coverage and summarizes the amount of coverage on the home. Remember, the mortgage lender has a stake in the property until it is completely paid off. The insurance policy shows the lender 
that the collateral is protected. The lender will not find the loan until the homeowners see the homeowners insurance declaration page. Just a heads up, if you stop making payments on the loan, the house reverts back to the bank. Five, cashier's check or wire transfer. Have the title company mentioned whether you want a cashier's check or wire transfer? Follow whatever instructions you are given, and because of the key you see, your new home are only a few days away. Cashier's check and wire transfer guaranteeing funds are like a personal check. Without a piece of paper, the deal will not close. The cashier's check or wire transfer covers closing costs, prepaid interest, and property taxes. The closing disclosure document is used to enable the buyers to know what is due when they come to the home settlement table. Number six, property survey. Have you been told what a property survey can do for you? The property survey can inform you of your legal boundaries of the parcel of the land or property you are purchasing. Depending on if you are buying a row house or land with a house center on it, it should be determined whether it is important to you to know the boundaries of the land. The property survey can identify any encroachment, for example, your fences over the property line of fruit feet. Or a fence belongs to the neighbor and you have the mowed grass because the fence sets inside the property dividing line on their side. If you have reviewed the old community plot map and it has been updated and it has not been updated and the meet and bounds lines are not clear, please get a property survey done to ensure there will not be any arguments with the neighbors in the future or to believe boundaries of the property. The survey should contain disputed assets if there is a road that runs across your property or body of water or beach property that can end a foot beyond the water line. Mortgage companies can require a property survey to evaluate the amount of money they are given for the loan. However, in some states, a property survey is not required. Some mortgage companies are satisfied knowing the title insurance is on the property. Number seven, final closing. Have the title company set an appointment for the final closing of the property you're buying? I know you're excited. However, you still need some other official documents to bring to the meeting. Remember, your driver's license or identification card must be brought to the closing table. A driver's license, passport, or government issued ID must be brought to prove you are who you say you are and have the legal right to sign the closing paperwork and assume property ownership. Please do not bring an outdated or inaccurate driver's license to close it. It will stop the proceedings in the closing process on the property. Your documentation needs to be copied and attached to the documents. Even if you just married a couple of days ago, please get the paperwork updated or at least bring a copy of the marriage license so that you can add it to the file. Remember, the day of closing is not the day to leave your wallet or person home. Remember, it is nothing wrong with a list of things that must have and need to find. Take your time and gather everything you need. You want this process to go smoothly as possible. I hope you find a great real estate agent and a must-have list is valuable to you. Good luck. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up or leaving comments. Also, check out some of my other videos that may answer a few of your other questions you may have. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.